Hi there, crafty ones. This is Pam Benny with Pam's Paper Place. And I thought I'd do a video before I gave this um, journal, kind of a garden themed, fairy themed journal to my daughter who was uh, for her birthday. I was going to keep it. I did make one. I don't know when it was it um, like this that I sold maybe a year ago, six months ago. I'm not sure. So I thought I was going to keep this for myself, but I plan on making more. But it's one of my favorites. I love it. It's hard to give it up, but. I can make more, right? So, um, and I can't remember if I recorded this before, so I just thought I'll, I'll just do it real quick before I send it out. Um, I'm just trying to get my lighting right. This is my third attempt at the <laughs> this video because my lighting, I've got a new setup here. I decided to redo my craft room again. And before I had just used repurposed items, and this time I, my husband and I went to Ikea about two hours from here in Michigan to uh, redo my room. So once that's finished, I'll give you a tour if you'd like. Um, it has these real pretty flowers on both sides. It's a cloth type uh, fabric journal and uh, it's two signatures, which is a little hard to do when you have a cloth signature. Um, and then it has this doily here, it has all this fun leaf trim. Um, this pretty flower. There's one on the front. There's one on the back. And then pom-poms and just funness everywhere. And this is uh, like a vintage burk cloth right here, this fabric on the... This is a upholstery, but this is like a bark cloth. It's really cool because it uh, kind of uh, ravels. So you have fun little, like charms and things coming out little frog and flowers lots of fun things i know there's a squirrel there's a um, mushroom here's an owl here there's another what's this another little mushroom charm that i put together so isn't that fun? Yeah, this is a hard one to give away. <laughs> okay, so you open it up and you got the fun leaves all coming out the bottom and the laces. And here's this pocket that goes all the way across this lace pocket here. And we have a button here on this little trim. And this is sewn around fabric. Like I said, it's a cloth type journal. I'm going to add this vintage best birthday wishes. It's like embossed vintage postcard here. And I thought it matched with the flowers here. Um, and then it has this, um, I think it's my porch prints, but uh, I have some digitals and then I have different sewing around. It's like a little envelope. And then I just need to put something in here. So we have that and really pretty scrapbook paper that's been sewn around. This was part of a curtain. And then I took fibers, sew down here. And then this is where that little owl charm is and some more lace here. So yeah, I'm ready to start making these. I do have a couple journals uh, that are already completed, though, so I need to... Uh, I have this one. I have a couple little golden books I forgot that I uh, did, you know, in our RV, so I need to uh, film these two and list them. That's really cute. Okay, so this is a lace pocket with a little crochet trim. And this says the story begins, different digitals. Um, and then I did some stenciling. And then this lace type pocket, I have this journal begins, or this journal <laughs> belongs to. And then there's a really pretty butterfly charm, kind of a purpley color. And this has been stitched around. And then we have this little card here, and it's been stamped with lines. And this is a fun card that has stitching all around, 
fibers. Real pretty fibers at the top. I hope my lighting's good because I've done this is my third time trying it. Just, you know, when you have a new setup, you have to kind of figure out all your lighting and everything again. And this is part of a, like an Ikea desk. My daughter gave me this and then the little cubbies that are off to the side here and it attaches. So I think that'll work out well. This is like a digi um, back there. Here's from a bird page. And then uh, I have a definition of a leaf. I added that. Some lock vine trim. This is a digi here um, with a rabbit and a little fairy. This is frogfish, forest fern. This is another digi stamped on the back. And this is pretty with the um, seam binding and flowers that I added here. Different stitching. And then this is uh, Tsunami Rose. And there's a little Bible verse there. And this is from Louise Hensel. It's uh, digi with her echo prints. I really like how this turned out. You can see through and there is an owl and some squirrels there through the paper vellum. And then this is like a handmade paper. I tore the edges and then I um, cut that owl and squirrels out and then added fibers behind. This is probably my funnest type of journal to make, although I do like little golden books, too. Okay, and this is um, just some satiny fabric that I stitched fibers down and added to the edge of that paper. A little vellum here. And um, the latest buzz. I believe this is my porch prints. I may add just something at the top of here so she knows that you pull this out. I'm not sure. Maybe she... Yeah, I guess it peeks out. I think it's fine. More digital paper. And this I think she'll like because she likes... They have a mid-century modern house. And I like that fabric there. A little lace. Another crochet. And then I sewed the vine trim. Here's more of that handmade paper. Oh, pretty... Paper here, I just like how this all flows. A little tuck here, staple a little ticket there. Here's some bird pages. I love birds. We have a lot of birds around here. Pretty little bird there. Page. We have coffee dyed paper. Uh, this is from Louise Hensel's kit. Got a little crochet trim here. We have some butterfly stationery. And then <clears throat> this little pretty butterfly booklet. And then it has, I use some of my glimmer mist and we have coffee dyed paper. And then this cute little booklet, coffee dyed papers, and that's cute little raccoon. He just tucks, she just tucks right in there. And then I did some of my handmade age tape there throughout this book. First wildflower of the year is like land after seat, Thomas Wentworth Higginson. A little magazine page I stitched around with some leaf fabric. This is a little note paper, a couple pieces of that. A little leaf trim, I left the top of it poking off the side there, stitched down it, and this is ruffled paper, dyed paper. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, you can see it better on this side here. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, some more note paper. Not pretty. And a butterfly. And this cute little rabbit. Cute. 
you. Um, part of a book page. I added my aged tape. And then a little, this was a copy. Yeah, it must have been last spring because this was a piece I cut out of a flower that I had as paper. And then it looks like I have it taped on there. I love the edges. See how they just kind of cascade? This and this and this. And, and then this is really cute. This is coffee dyed. Um, I always forget the name of it. Kind of like gauze-like. <laughs> I never can think of it. Anyway, and this is like wood grain. Cheesecloth. A little stenciling behind here. And this little chipmunk opens up. Or squirrel. Maybe it's a squirrel. And there's a little squirrel. Aren't squirrels cute? So, well, that's cute. And then on this side, this is the middle of the first signature. Has a little raccoon prints there. And then you can, oh, this is like a little tuck here. And I have this raccoon from a magazine, a couple little flowers. And then just some stationery in there. It's my little raccoon, or I think that's a raccoon. And then I added him, cut a hole, added fibers, this little tape here. Isn't that so cute? And then the flowers to kind of go with the flowers in the page. Look how cute. He's cute. And then this will open up. And what do I have in here? Oh, yeah. And then I have the card in there. <laughs> I love this. I don't know if I want to give it away. <laughs> I will. I will. And then uh, this flips up for writing, stamped. And it brought some black in from here. There's a little pocket stitched around, cut around, use my little scissors. And then here is a dragonfly in the middle of the first signature end. Sorry. But if you want to see it, I kind of have to bring it up a little bit. Dragonfly, and then there's a little butterfly and some beads here. Okay. Added a little vine trim here. This opens up. Has this cute little best wishes card. The raccoon. Pretty paper. And then you have this little ruffle showing through here. Um, fabric and this sheer fabric. And then a little stenciling. And this is the same as paper as that. It's pretty. There's more of the other side of that book page. Real pretty image here. Note paper. Added some vine trim down there. Real pretty page here. I stamped Queen's Anne lace on some paper here. Added this little piece. Uh, here's some more beautiful paper. Added uh, these little pieces here, the butterflies for a flip out. I'm trying to think of the name of that kit. Added this little lace paper die cut, or that I fussy cut. Here's a pretty tag with stitching. It's the back. And here's a little booklet stitched. you have different papers okay a little bird book this see I forgot it's been a long time since I've made this uh, really pretty paper and I did some wonky stitching so back of that and then this I cut out a die cut there and then added this flower so you have a tuck coffee dyed paper so this tucks into the flower that I fussy cut 
and then this goes here. And I added a little owl card, playing card, to this other side that I tucked, you know, folded. Pretty paper here, more of this handmade paper. Um, this is, uh, I sewed down this fiber through like this. I'll do this butterfly, just, it's kind of a craft, I think you'd say wrapping paper, or, yeah, paper that you craft Paper that you would wrap a present in, maybe. Isn't that pretty? I love how that looks. Okay, and then more pretty paper here. That's uh, stationary, handmade paper here, little flux. And then I have this cute little fairy. I put some lace behind her. And she's looking through the, the toadstool, but when you put it this way, you can see her poking through there. And here's another little fairy I fussy cut. It was a little girl and I added some wings. Another page here, and then this I added fibers. Unbelievable, it says. A little butterfly paper clip. And then I added uh, this twine, or this uh, vine. And then this guest check. These are my flowers from last year that I printed onto here. A little bird page. And then a cute little pocket. I just added a little lace there, stamped on the back lines. And then here, I added some pockets on the side. Here's a little stenciling. And then some added fibers here that go in like this. And there you have it. That page, that's the end of the first signature. And then here, I have, there's a magnet here. So it opens and it holds these little cards. So it's like a little file folder that shuts. So that's kind of fun. Here's the second signature, and here's a ruffle here, and then there's some uh, charms, like a, there's the squirrel. Okay, lighting, lighting, lighting. Not looking good. Okay. Maybe it'll turn out better this way, possibly. A little ruffle here and then here you can kind of see the bottom layers all right and then we have this really pretty page a little, little ruffle shows here a little flower fibers and then here i added some fibers to the top and opens up for writing i made a little another little fairy girl cut the wings out added the fussy cut the mushrooms and added the little fibers here and then this has vine at the top and it flips up for some writing and the pretty page the blues with this bird thought was pretty had these little buttons here uh, this is a little postcard pretty bridge and then a little booklet different little pages and the hands are not working real well <laughs> cute I added that little button uh, it's like a paper button 
more of this pretty torn handmade like paper. And this has a little edge here. And this has the a ruffle and a little froggy. And here's the ruffle. And I brought out some of the purple here in this really pretty trim, which has been sewn around. Plus, I cut this out, added that, and then this is part of an envelope. Uh, with this pretty bird and I added this to the side with a cute fairyland tag and a little postage stamp and and a little came off a onion bag it's kind of a plastic mesh it's kind of a fun little element there a little postage here. I think I got that from Lori Grammy's Keepsakes. Real pretty one. Good with this. And then on here, there's a, like a coloring page. Dragonfly. And then I added this big card here. Look beautiful. I'll have to put some of the links to the digis when I have a minute. Um, we got graph paper. I love this. <clears throat> this thought came out of a oh I made a pocket I forgot <laughs> like a little pocket out of this thought I brought this real pretty hand dyed paper in the green a little torn piece to write here we have a tuck did some stenciling. Secret garden. What is this? Oh, yeah, I added, oops, I guess it goes this way. Uh, coffee dyed paper. Yeah, I did stenciling. And then here's a postcard. Thought it went pretty with these colors here. And then here on this little burlap tab, I have a flower charm. I really like this page. Um, I fussy cut this out, added flowers in these fairies, and then added this edging here. Aren't they cute? And then made a fun little tag with some clusters. Put a cluster here. And um, added my handmade aged to look like tape. Added this image onto this here. This has kind of been torn. And uh, to make a little pocket with this postcard. And then a little pocket I tore here. And this fabric ruffle, little tag. And then this is a little Edith Holden with this owl. Coffee dyed. Here's some more of this vellum that you could see through. And then this is that. I can't think of his name. I think it's Terry something garden book page. And then here's some of my that I scanned my ferns and flowers from last year. You can just see a little purple edge here, or purple lace, and that's this flip. There's some of my tape, and I thought it brought out this purple here. It's very pr pretty with the green, and I did some stenciling. It's my cluster with the torn edge. Oh, and then this comes off, this paper clip. And this opens up quite a ways with all my stenciling. And then this envelope, I really love this envelope. 
that goes, kind of holds this all together here. With this uh, pretty paper clip um, playing card. I can do it. There we go. Not pretty. The gold. <clears throat> I tore around. No, I didn't. This page I tore around. Really pretty page with the bird. Uh, this is a fabric that I had, and then I added more fabrics and laces and trims. And then a little torn edge here. So it's a little flip. Or that tape I made. I love this. The flowers. Love that poem. And then I did a ruffle with and I sewed. And then I added that little bee to the top. Let me see. Here is a pocket that I tore and I added this dyed cheesecloth, did a little stenciling and then there's uh, a tag you see the stenciling and the cute little elves this is the middle of the second signature beautiful paper and I matched it on both sides, so it's matched here, as you can see here and here, and matched here. The paper is still when it flips. Not the easiest thing to do, but I did it. I kind of like that look. Okay, and then I fussy cut that flower and added it. Then we have a couple little tags here, a couple fairies. Rook rack, trim, lace. That kind of looks like my grandfather. So that was cute. And then, I think, yeah, this has Edith Holden Pages. Bird. At the top. And there's the other side. So this is like an envelope with the Edith Holden page. And then here's a pocket and another cute little fairy tag and um, it's a little bunny and then uh, here's a wax seal with some lace and some uh, just threads. And then what you have here is a little ruffle. Okay, and then this page, I really like this. I got my tape here, and then I had stenciling, and then this flips this way. And then you have a little pocket, and that opens up. So it opens here, here, and then you have this couple other little tags. Sweet little fairy tags. And this... So when you put that in there, it kind of keeps that shut. Okay, I gotta move along. And then we have Rick Rack here. Uh, this is some pretty paper to journal on. And then I fussy cut this little girl out and I put little butterfly wings on her. And then here I set a paper in fibers to the mushroom. More little papers. Uh, this is a little interactive card with these cute little images of squirrels and the owl with some fibers. So that's that one. Okay, and then here we have pretty lace and a little card. I tore this and added some 
washi tape, and then a little card here, washi tape. More pretty book pages. And then that, you can see the little flower through there. We've got coffee dyed paper and another really pretty flip. Has purples to bring in the flowers color here. Pretty trim. And then here's a tag. And this craft paper pocket. And then I added a trim here. And then you can see more of the ruffles. I hope this is still filming. Yeah. Okay, this flips open. I have washi tape here. I think I have to glue that down a little bit. And uh, these are my, this is scrapbook. This is my flowers from last year. Print. And this is an envelope. I cut these out so you could kind of see through folded this up, this little booklet, yeah this is going to be a little longer video but there's a lot of pages, and then a cute little tiny one, a glimmer must did some of these pages. So what do we have here, so this is the clear envelope pocket. And I have this tag in here. These are my flowers from last year, and I did some wonky stitching. I'll put that in later. So I'm running out of time. Uh, this is a digi. I did some more uh, stenciling. Just a little, I don't know if that's a bridge. It's some kind of tally card. Really pretty uh, booklet. This is like wallpaper, a digi from a wallpaper. Line paper, Glimmer misted this music, added these little fussy cut flowers and some fibers. Ledger, and this is uh, from a coloring book and then I added these fun, playful fibers that I punched holes. And tore this and added my washi. Getting toward the end here. And this fussy cut around here. Um, added a little. It's cute. This is like one of these little poster notes with the squirrels. This little stationary piece. And then here, um, a ruffle. And then I have a little owl charm. There's a little fox, I, I, I fussy cut, pretty tag. Little fox on a little uh, Edith Holden paper. Or this handmade paper, I tore the edges. Little bird book. Another little page from Tsunami Rose. And then I fussy cut this little girl, put a crown on her and some wings. Fussy cut the mushrooms, added some to look like grass on the bottom, toward the edges, and then this, I made a pocket, added this lace here, this ruffle, a little trim on the edge here, and then there's a little card here. And this pretty scrapbook paper, and here's the ruffle. Added fibers, and then this is the last page. It's for pretty fabric, little button. We have owl stationery. We have a little card that I sewed like around here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I added a little book page. <clears throat> has a poem about the fairies. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So that is the little book, <clears throat> not little, but the uh, journal that I'll be giving to my daughter. And stay tuned, I'll be making some more of these. Uh, I don't know exactly when, I just got to finish uh, putting the rest of my um, craft room together. So <clears throat> thank you so much for watching and blessings to you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.